Hello guys, this is Only Abi Doang and today I'm going to be showing 10 features in The Sims 4 High School Years expansion pack that you might not know. Yes, I know, the pack has been out for like, what, 5 months? But as some of you may know, I'm still a bit preoccupied with med school right now, so sorry for the really late delay. Anyway, for this video, you may find these features interesting, useful, or even shocking to you. So without further ado, let's take a look at them. As all of you may know, this expansion pack allows you to directly play around with your teenager sims while attending high school. The usual daily schedule while in high school includes a free time in the morning, one morning class, lunch break, and one afternoon class. But did you know that there are special events that can happen randomly in your high school? One of them is the fire drill. While in the middle of a morning class session, there's a chance a fire alarm will be triggered for a fire drill, therefore making everyone in the building, including students and teachers, to stop whatever they're doing and go outside to evacuate. Except this custodian for some reason, he doesn't give a crap. Also, some firefighters may also show up while this event is active, but they don't really do much. After the event ends, the schedule will continue as usual. One other school event that could happen is career day. At around 12 p.m., a pop-up may appear asking your sim if they want to go to the auditorium to attend this event. There, you will find three stands each with an adult representing a career, like a chef, a military personnel, a criminal, and others. You can watch their presentation or ask them directly about their career, which is one of the tasks of this event. You may either get a happy or a scared moodlet after asking. After asking three of them, you can go to your teacher to discuss the future which will result in either a confident or a scared moodlet as well. Additionally, you may encounter a random school fight in your school. I added this because the game considers it as a school event as well for some reason. It doesn't do much though, even the principal is watching the fight calmly in my game. There's a neat crosspack feature between this pack and the Discover University expansion pack. As some of you may know, your teenager can graduate high school early. To be able to do that, your sim needs to be an A grade student and excel in some skills. So be sure to study a lot for the exam, do the extra credit homework, keep your school performance high, learn some skills, and join extracurricular activities to be qualified for early graduation. Once you're qualified, you'll be able to graduate early by asking to the school's principal or using the computer. You may also get a phone call from a random NPC, like this high-ranking mage for example, offering you to graduate early. Once you graduate early, you won't have to go to school anymore and obtain this reward trait that boosts career performance in the future. But unfortunately, there won't be a graduation ceremony for your sim because your diploma will be mailed to you instead. Also, you won't be able to join a full-time job until you grow up, but what they can do is apply for university if you have discovered university expansion pack. So now, it is finally possible to attend university even if your sim is still a teenager in this game. Besides Discover University, this pack also has some other cross-pack integrations. This can be seen in some type of classes. If you click on a teen to check on their class schedule, you can get to know this week's class schedule and which classes increase specific skills. However, there are certain classes that increase multiple skills at once, or even skills from other packs. One class, which is the Social Studies subject, improves not only the writing skill, but also self adoradian culture skill and archaeology skill if you also have Jungle Adventure game pack installed. Meanwhile, attending the art class will improve not only your painting skill, but also photography skill, which is a base game skill, and acting skill if you have Get Famous expansion pack. Even though you can finally follow teenagers to school now, do keep in mind that if your teenagers are doing poorly or cause some trouble, they can still get kicked out of the school. You can get expelled from high school if you keep skipping classes, get bad grades, end your school session early, not do your homework, and get caught doing pranks in school. Your teen will also get this expelled from high school trait. Teens can also voluntarily drop out of the high school, like Emily here. You can do that through the computer or by talking directly to the school's principal. After that, you'll get a high school dropout trait. Teens who get expelled or who drop out of high school will never have to attend high school anymore and they cannot apply back in, so you finally get all the free time you want. But do be aware that once they grow up to adulthood and want to get a job, some careers will be locked out due to you not graduating high school. And if you have discovered university pack, when trying to apply to a university, they also won't be accepted to most of the degrees unless they excel greatly in certain skills. To be able to join these locked careers and degrees, you need to get an online diploma first for 250 simoleons using the computer. Getting this diploma will take a really long time, but you can pause your current work and continue later with your progress saved. Once finished, your diploma will be mailed and you can finally join those locked careers and degrees again. 
Okay, so you're a high school dropout now, and you may think that the future won't be so bright from now on. But worry not, because this pack has a brand new exploit for your sims. To do this, you need to use this new fashion marketplace phone app in the game called Trendy. It's basically like a fashion influencer thing based on trends, but you get to buy, sell, or resell outfits online as well. Then, check the latest trends to see which outfit style is trending. Apparently, streetwear is trending now, so go to the app again and browse Trendy. There, you can buy some outfits sold by other sims. Just buy a few of those streetwear outfits, which usually doesn't cost that much. These outfit sets will then be in your inventory. If you hover over it, it will also show its current hype, which is currently neutral. To increase your outfit's hype, wear one of them by choosing the wear outfit interaction, then use your phone again and do the promote current look interaction. Your sim will take a quick selfie for a pose and you will either gain followers and increase the outfit's hype or lower it. But that doesn't really matter. What you really need to do is to spam this interaction tons and tons of times. And yeah, I mean a lot of times. You may get some success and failure while promoting it, but the amount of follower gain and hype increase will outweigh the failure in the end. Eventually, if you keep successfully promoting the outfit, its hype will change from neutral to hot and to finally become fire. Once it reaches the fire hype, click on the outfit set and sell it on Trendy. You'll then be able to insert the price. I'm gonna sell it for 2 million simoleons. I'm not even kidding. After being listed, you need to wait till someone wants to buy it, so just tip it off while you're at it. Eventually, a customer would like to purchase the outfit. Now just click on the outfit and ship it to mail. Doing this will give you the same price tag you've set before. So yeah, there you have it. You have broken the game's economy and become a millionaire. If you keep this up, you could even replace Mark Zuckerberg on the billionaire school dropouts list. <laughs> Copperdale might look like a quaint little town, but there's this creepy secret occurrence that you can witness by yourself. If you take a look at the description of the Prescott Square district in a worldview, his description stated that there's a ghost of Copperdale's founder, Jasper Prescott. Now if you go to this district yourself, you may notice this old shack located right on this cliff. You can go near it, but not inside it. You also cannot interact with the shack. There's nothing interesting there if you visit in the middle of the day, but when it's night time, you'll notice that the shack will be surrounded by fog. Additionally, if you look a bit closer, you may begin to see a white ghastly figure appearing and disappearing in front of the shack at times. This is actually the ghost of Jasper. Unfortunately, this isn't like your regular ghosts in the game. It's basically just a PNG image. You cannot interact with the ghost as well, and if you move the camera to take a closer look at the ghost, it will disappear, so try zooming in instead. This pack also introduces puberty to teenagers. Teenagers will now have the chance to experience this once in a while. You'll notice they'll get a tense moodlet from it. While in puberty, they may grow some acne on their face which also gives them an embarrassed moodlet. It will go away on its own after a while, but to make them disappear faster, you can click on any sink or mirror and use a concealer. If you conceal your acne, it will disappear immediately, but doing this will just hide them, not remove them altogether. To prevent acne breakout from happening, be sure to always apply a facial cleanser daily from the sink or mirror. Puberty may also cause your teens to experience unwanted body and facial hair growth, which is also a feature now. Body hairs themselves are introduced in a free update, but the body and facial hair growth feature is exclusive to this pack. If you experience an unwanted hair growth, you may either get a happy or an embarrassed mood. Either way, if you want to remove them, click on a shower to shave different parts of your body hair, whether it be arm, chest, back, or leg hair, or a sink to shave facial hairs. You can shave them to your preferred length or shave them off completely. Preferred length meaning the selected body or facial hair that you've picked before in Creative Sim. Body and facial hair growth can occur on teenage sims and older, and they will grow longer and longer after a few weeks if you have them enabled. To disable hair growth altogether, click on a mirror and choose the Change Sim interaction, then untick the hair growth option on the facial hair or body hair menu. Some of you may not notice this because I didn't at first, but this pack introduces a new skill called Entrepreneur Skill. It's a 5 level skill that's all about hustling and can be improved by setting objects you've crafted like paintings, woodworks, books, etc. It can also be improved if you join freelance careers, become a streamer or influencers, sell objects using the Trendy app, and if you have nifty needing stuff pack, sell objects using the Plopsy marketplace. In level 2 of the skill, you'll be able to advertise your side hustle online. But this can only be done if you're employed as a influencer or game streamer. Two new part-time careers from this pack. This interaction will boost your followers' gain. In level 3, you'll be able to make and research a business plan on the computer. Like before, sims must be working as a streamer or influencer in order to do this. You can either get a poor, normal, or outstanding quality business plan. 
These can be used once you've reached level 4 of the skill, where you can contact angel investors for funding using these plants. If it's poor quality, you'll gain a little amount of funding, but the better the business plan quality, the more money you'll earn. And finally, at level 5, you'll be able to use the plants to appear on Lama's Lair, which may likely be a reality TV show inspired from Shark Tank. Your sim will disappear for a while to do it though. The better the plant's quality, the better the chance you'll succeed. And if you succeed, you'll get a notification about it, and I think you're supposed to get a hefty amount of funding from it like the angel investor thing, but in my case, till this day, you won't get anything from it. I'm not sure if it's a bug or you'll get a different effect that I may not notice till now, but if you know its actual effect, please let me know in the comments below. Besides that, your sim will also gain the knowledge reward trait, which makes them get a salary boost and other sims will be more receptive when socializing with them. Even if this pack is all about teenagers and high school, turns out that it also introduced two new death types to the game. The first one is Death by Sting Capsule. Once you've reached level 3 of the mischief skill, your sim will be able to perform a new prank into the school's locker, which is by planting a sting capsule. They will tinker the device for a while and if it succeeds, anyone who tries to open the sabotage locker will be sprayed with the sting gas, making the target uncomfortable. But do be aware that there's a chance that while tinkering with the sting capsule, it'll backfire and explode right in front of your face, making you uncomfortable as well. And if you're really unlucky, the backfire may also have the chance to be fatal, so be careful about that. The ghost of sims who die because of this will have a green sting cloud surrounding the ghost. I haven't discovered the ghost special ability as of now, so feel free to let me know in the comments below if you know about it as well. The other new death type in this pack is Death by Urban Myth. Like before, it's also tied into the mischief skill. Once you've reached level 10 of the skill, you will unlock another new prank that you can perform to other sims called Summon Urban Myth. Your sim will grab a hand mirror and chant some words in front of it with the sim, but then they'll scare the sim instead. It's kinda like the Bloody Mary myth in a way. The target sim will then get this scared with it. But there's also a chance that it'll backfire, where it turns out that the myth is real all along and it'll scare the prankster instead. They will also get the same scared mood like before. And finally, if any sim tries to perform the same prank again to someone while the aforementioned scared mood is still active, it will result in a 100% guaranteed fatal backfire to the prankster, where a shadow hand will pop out of the mirror, scaring the prankster to death. The ghosts of sims who died because of this will have a black aura around them, and they'll also be scared sometimes when using any kinds of mirror. So those are 10 features that you may not know in the Sims 4 High School Years expansion pack. If you know more that I didn't mention here, feel free to share it in the comments below. Thank you so much guys for watching this video, I hope you liked it, and if you do like it and want more, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. See you later!